What is going on, guys? Skippy, and welcome back to another episode in our Road to Glory series. Today, we are back with some more Red Ball cricket as we take on Middlesex at Lords. We are at the home of cricket, and I believe this is Pijma's first game there. So, fingers crossed, the big dog can continue on with the form that he has found with both bat and ball. And the boys can get a result today. If you have kept in touch with the latter, you would have seen that a few episodes ago we were one and four we've managed to string a few wins together and we sit mid table it is important that we do take these wins in the next coming fixtures so the boys can challenge for the top of the table we are a core member of this outlaws lineup we're still no chance for the three lines yet but if we go to Lords today with the right mindset i have no doubt that this bloke is not too far away well, that's enough from me. Let's see what the big dog can do out in the middle. If you do enjoy Cricket 22 content, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Leave a cheeky comment down below. I promise you'll take a Pfeiffer in your next innings. We do live stream over on Twitch four days a week. I'll leave all my links in the description. So make sure you click on in. Come and say g'day. And let's continue to put Cricket back on the map. Welcome to Lords for this first class match between Middlesex and the Outlaws. What a day for it. What a time for it. Pishma Pant finding some form and continues to see himself at number three. Looks like a bit of a green top today. The coin goes up. Be interesting to see what the Outlaws do here if they do win it. Tails never fails. They win the toss and on a medium grassy one at Lords. What? What is Schadendorf going to do today? He's going to send, Med send Middlesex in. He's going to give Pijma a red hot crack with the ball. Let's see what the boys can do out in the middle. Just a quick reminder for all of our viewers out there of the difficulties and the sliders that we do play on. As you can see on your screen, we do play on the tough stuff. And a big thanks to Pradosh, the YouTuber out there, who has made some custom sliders and difficulties just to ensure that four day and red ball cricket is as real as it gets i don't tinker too much with the hardest stuff but with the physics and the speeds and whatnot we do play around with a little bit of it just to ensure that we do get the quality of play so 13 overs in and the big red is told to warm up middle six 43 for three after 13 and the big boy rolls in he's his first ball at lord's his edge through gully and it flies away for a bounce it's a no ball as well it's all happening well oh boy oh boy what a start for Pige. five off his first ball he rolls in for ball number two and it's punched down again oh dearie dearie me no run to mid eye oh it's eventful can't get too carried away with the occasion here third man goes back he rolls in on a line and length again he's nice and straight to cracknell who's back for no run does have a nice green top to work with here. Two slips and a nice ring field as he's in. And look how fast that is. Last ball of his first. Pishma's taken a few wickets, picked up some momentum and fallen with the ball as he's in to Cracknell. Another dot ball to mid on. And after 14, Middlesex, 48 for three. Let's see if he can start to swing the ball. He rolls in. And this time, he's a little bit too straight. Cracknell working that one through mid-wicket. And they come back for a couple. No dramas there. 50 up for Middlesex. And hopefully, the Outlaws can continue their onslaught. Here is Pijma's in at the body of Cracknell. They take a run. Oh, they say no. Oh, it's all happening. It is all happening today at Lords. Solid start so far. A couple balls left in his second over. He's absolutely on the money. Last ball of the second. None for seven off his two as this one goes in. Cracknell goes back. And after 16, Middlesex, a 50 for three. He did get a few overs in the first innings in the first match. So hopefully this is a good sign of what is to come as he's on the bat of Cracknell there. He's in his face as well. He's just letting him know who's boss at Lords today. Got to use all of his energy here. Hopefully in three or four over spells. He's in there. There's a little cutter in this one's Beautifully driven on the up by Cracknell. The London Bridge from James Pattinson, the Aussie. And Pijma concedes yet another boundary. 
Some disgusting fielding from the Aussie there. Takes the score to 54 for three. Pitch was in on the body and knocks him over. Stubbs galore. What a ball that was. Oh, yes, he played all around it. Suck shit. Get out of here, Cracknell. Middlesex are four for 54. Well, Johnny Simpson rolls in. Pishma one for 11. Richie would be happy. Last ball of his 30s on the bat of Simpson, who works it to forward square for none. And that is the end of the 18th. Well, I tell you what, this bloke is the real deal. He comes in for over number four. He's on Simpson. He hits his upper thigh and says, hey, you want some too, little boy? Oh, it was a beautiful plan. He softened him up with the leg cutter. Then he hit the base of the stumps as he pushes across Simpson here for another dot ball. Just going to see if we can get a couple to jag away from him here. It's a green top. Let's use the facilities as we do. And he plays and misses. Oh boy, this is a clinic. He has his high horse up. The big fella here is he's in again. And Simpson defends. What more could you ask for? Last ball of Pijma's fourth. He comes in this time. He's on Simpson's legs. He pats it out to forward square. And after 20 overs, Middlesex, a 60 for four. Well, would you read about it? I don't know. Pishma Pant only picking up the one extra over after blowing the stumps out of Lords and Middlesex are uh, all out for 156 after 63.2. You'd think you'd pick up three or four extra overs, maybe a second or third spell, but don't stress. We're going to pick up play in the 19th over. Nottinghamshire a 73 for one and trail by 83. The bloke is in some serious form with the bat. Can he continue it at the home of cricket? His time, his moment, his place is now. Let's see what the big boy can do. Well, out he strolls for his first innings at Lords. 950s and a ton and spin is on. A short leg a slip and Souter at the top of his run up. He comes in and Pijma defends nicely. Well, it's nervous times, nervous energy, but we've seen that he can combat that early. Souter comes in, Pishma works it off his ankles. You can't bowl there to the big dog. You know he's good off his pads, and this one trickles all the way for four. Well, it's simple. Do not bowl there. Souter, learn your lesson. He comes in again. He's on a good length here. Pishma forward, and after 19, the Outlaws, 77 for one. Sada comes in again. Pishma to face his fourth ball. He's on a length. He walks across. It's a little risky. But again, he finds his hot zone and he picks up another couple to backward square. We said he wanted to be positive. If he's going to get the ball in his slot, you know where it's going. This time, Sada in a Pishma sweeps even better this time. Oh, give the bloke a go in the three lions. Well, he's a massive leg side player. Souts has got it all wrong this time. He comes in, he bowls the wrong, and Pijma schnicks this to forward point for no run. You can see that there's going to be a little bit of spin out there. Got to be patient, got to work it for our runs. Pijma gets forward and he defends again. And see, with the new sliders Pradosh has provided for us, it makes it real, it makes it tricky. And this time, Pishma sweeps, and he absolutely smokes it to backward square to complete the 21st Nottinghamshire, 84 for one. Marty Anderson into the attack for Pishma's first look at some fast bowling. He comes in, Pishma's there, and he gets forward and defends nicely. You can see that there's a little bit of grip in this wicket. We need to be careful going across the line. Souter comes in. He bowls one full. And again, Pijma works it off his toes nicely. Picks up his picket fence. Takes his score to 15 at runner ball. Anderson around the wicket this time. Pijma needs to be on his money here. Oh, and he isn't. He snicks it all the way down through gully for four. <laughs> We can tell that the right arm around the wicket's going to be too much for him. Can he get across to off stump and defend this time? He gets there and he does. He closes that edge off nicely well batted. It's been a big issue for him. The right arm around the wicket. Can he lock in today? Look at that. Woo-hoo-hoo. 
Last ball of the 24th. He's looked a little tentative around the wicket. He gets in this time. He plays underneath his eyes. And 24 have now been bowled in the Outlaws. 95 for one. A slate of 56 off 68 doing his part. Pijma almost at a run of ball. Sada continues. He's there and he straightens and Pijma plays and misses. Well, that was well bowled. Deceived him in flight, line, and absolutely everything. Pishman comes in again. This time he sweeps through the gap. He bought square leg up, you goose. Get to the top of your run up and have a decent think about what you're doing because it's trash. Well, 100 comes up and the boys are absolutely blitzing this attack. Souter in, he bowls on the legs. Pishma gets forward and says, hey, this is a little bit too easy here. The change of bowler. The spinner comes off because he's absolutely trash. Murtar comes in now. He's full on to Pijma. And he works this nicely off his legs again. Just on square leg. He comes back for two. And he makes his way to 25. Well, we haven't seen anything expansive outside the off stump yet. We've tried one. We've edged it. We've got away with it. This time we get a short ball. Hits Pijma in the shoulder and shakes him up just a touch. Well, he's okay with the short stuff. We know this. It's just the fuller stuff that he's not as he gets a short one and he plays and misses. If Murtar's going to go with that short ball plan, we know it's going to play into the hands of Pish. But if he goes full, we're in all sorts here as Pish lays into his first real cover drive. He doesn't get all of it, but enough to get down the other end to conclude the 26th over. Anderson continues on with the two slips. No gully, a short cover, and a mid-wicket. He swings one into Piz, who inside edges, and said, hey, I don't want no more of that for the time being. I'll get down the other end for a single. But Slater continues doing what he does best. Murtar coming round the wicket now. Pijma walks across this time. Full face, hits it to mid-off for no run. And see with his field, he wants to square Pijma up. We've got a pre-med. We get back and across. We get a wide one. And he leans into his first cover drive of the day and smokes it along the carpet at Lords all the way for four. Well, boy, he is developing nicely. We said we wanted to be positive. We've certainly been that today. We get a short ball and he plays down the wrong line. It's a fair dinkum roller coaster, this four day stuff. We've learnt the hard way. We're 40 episodes and the rest into our career. But don't stress, you're going to see plenty more of that. Take a bow, Pishma Pant, you star. Well, two boundaries off the Murtar over. He comes in to finish off his eighth. He bowls straight to Pishu inside, edges it. Oh boy, the keeper and second slip miscommunicate. And after 29, the Outlaws are 117 for one. Sauter back into the attack. He still comes over the wicket and he still doesn't have anyone out on that leg side and he still bowls on the leg stump and Pijma still sweeps him all the way for four. Well, he's picked up his scoring rate. Almost at a run of ball. 39 or 40 as Sauter's on the money with that one. This bloke looks about 75. Who's bowling? Big Souts. God bless you if you are watching at home. He tosses one up. Pijma hits it straight back to him. No run. 29.4 overs in. The Outlaw's in a good spot here. Pijma works this to mid on for no run this time. He's nearing the end of day one. He wants to be there for day two. Looks like the Outlaws are only going to bat once. This is a little early. Got done by the flight there. But he gets down the other end to finish off the 30th over. Well, seven overs remaining. Murtar comes back over the wicket. What does Pishma do? It's a bit too quick for him. And he kicks. Has he just kicked that through extra cover for four? What has happened here? Holy shit. He's edged it for four. What on earth has happened? Is this a leading edge? Oh my days. He's leading edged it all the way through extra cover for four. Suck eggs, middle sex. Suck eggs. Well, I tell you what, after all the play and misses and the inside edges and the two high LBWs, we do take that as Murtar's in, tries to hit Pijma's throat and he says, shut your moat. Get to the top of your run up, boy. You can see there's just a little bit of hold in this wicket. We're going to stay in the V for the remainder of the days. We get forward and we defend. Just when you thought we'd have a rest down the other end, Benny Slats goes and takes a single. As we get one, 
Oh, what's happened here? He's leading edge. He's gone. No. Well, Pishma's leading edge run and he's been caught. It was LB. Oh my days. It's Lolly popped up and he's been caught at square leg. You wouldn't read about it. Gone for 44 of the Outlaws. A two for 128. Well, boy, oh boy. Would you read about it? I don't know. He's bowled the quicker one out the front of their hand. Pidge has come forward. Oh, my days. He's hit it onto his shoe. He's timed the socks of it into his shoe. And then it's spooned up to forward square. He rolls in, takes the easiest of catches, and he is on his bike. Well, we edged one through Gully. We leading edged one through extra cover and we thought today was the day at Lords, but unfortunately we middle one onto our size 27 hoof and it spoons up, gets caught and just like that, Pijma is walking back to the Lords dressing room only to go and watch his boys bat another 100 or so overs to be dismissed for 300 and 43. Well, if he wasn't fired up after the first innings, he'd be certainly fired up for the second. We're going to pick up play in the 19th over. Middlesex, a 55 for two, and the big red has just been given the nod from the captain. If we can follow suit like we did in the first innings, this should be a okay. Middlesex trail by 132. Let's see if we can go out and get the dub. Well, here he is, 15 wickets and an absolute head of steam up. He rolls into the left-hander at Lords. The first ball is on Holden's hip and he whips it to square leg for no run. Well, the field is good. Third man, fine leg, ring field. Couple slips as this swings back and Holden's forward and defending. We've got a couple to just nip away off this surface. We'll see if we can go again. It's fast. It's 150 clicks, and Holden's looking to push Pijma here. Going to try and play a couple of first over tricks. See if we can nip one away slowly here. We do probably miss the line. Holden correctly plays that to mid on for no run. Well, so far, so good to start the second innings. He comes in for his last ball. He bowls the off cutter and gets slashed to point for no damage. And after 19, Middlesex, 55 for two. Well, surely we can see a bit of a longer spell this innings. We come in for over number two, which is fast, and it nips back a little bit. We're in Holden's face here, just reminding him of who's got the gas. His rhythm, his momentum, and his flow, it all looks in sync at Lords as this one gets punched through his sternum. And down the ground, it won't be four. The boys will pick up a couple, and they'll be the first couple that uh, Pijma concedes. Well, if we continue bowling like this, I think the 124 deficit might be a little too hard to claw back in as we're on the bat of Holden, who defends again for no run. The run rate is steady at three. The Outlaws all over middle sex here. Pijma in for the sec. Second over at Lollipops up to square leg for no run and Middlesex stay 63 for two. The first ball of the third over. Once again, we're going to try this little off cutter, which we're wide and Holden looks pretty comfy in behind. Just a little change of plan. He looked a little comfy behind that uh, defensive shot there as we go around the wicket and this time he doesn't want anything to do with it. These are good signs from the big red. He's just got it to start hooping a little bit from around the wicket. A little too straight there. Holden picks him off. And the middle sex bat. Oh, picks up three. Well fielded from the outlaw's fine leg. We get our first look at Ekinaz. He says he enjoys the short ball. So let's see what he's got. He gets underneath it. Pishma runs at him. And he stands at four foot. Fuck all. Last ball of the 23rd and Pijma's third. None for three. How is that? Pijma's got him. Oh, yes, he does. It was a little bit like how he got dismissed himself. Inside edge onto the toe and second slip. Takes a low down one-hander. Lukey Fletcher, you star. Ekinasi, get back to the sheds. It's three for 66.
Well, that was the last ball of the day. Pijma doing what he does best. He's picked up one, but he's refreshed for day two, his first ball to Holden's at the body for no run. Oh, boy, he's been fast, full, and absolutely on the money. He is again to Holden, who works this to square leg, no run. He is an excitement machine. He steams in again. This one nips away. Look at the shape on it. Well, if you had your doubts about the boy with the ball in previous episodes, hopefully they've been answered today as the little dad goes down to third man for one. We do not mind that at all. So we get a look at Cracknell again. We took his poles of first innings, and this time we're straight back on him, just for letting him know that we blew his castle last time. Well, I don't know what's going on here. He takes a wicket. The last ball of day two, he picks up the second over of day three, thinking that he's going to get a good sesh, a good spell, and a good opportunity to pick up a few wickets. And the captain just rips the hope all the way out of the big boy's heart and says, nah, we're going to put you on ice. We'll let the other outlaws take the wickets. And just like that, Middlesex are rolled for 141 in the 49th over, and Nottinghamshire win by an innings and 46 runs yes he performed with the ball yes we picked up a couple of wickets over the two innings and yes we look positive with the bat but when are we gonna get the opportunity with the ball to put on spell after spell after spell and have an opportunity to take Pfeiffer he's frustrated the big dog although he's having fun doing it he demands the ball he wants to be out there and represent the three lines just give him a go well, in saying that, guys, we are going to leave it there for today's episode. Thank you so much for being with us. Yes, we win, and we win convincingly, but also, yes, still very frustrated with the performance. But if you have enjoyed today's episode, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Leave a cheeky comment down below. Make sure you come and check us out in our live streams over on Twitch as well. But until next time, guys, look after yourselves and those around you, and I'll catch you in the next one.